There are a whole range of ways to use Microsoft to improve student learning, but you may be asking yourself, how on earth do I or my students learn how to do all this stuff? We know that going to a professional training course where someone takes you through dry, step-by-step -step instructions is a very ineffective form of learning. We want professional development to be much closer to the classroom, based on practical, real-time situations and problem solving. So here's a way that you can use a feature called Ribbon Hero to improve both you and your students' skills when using Office tools. When we moved to Office 210, we moved from a traditional file structure to this thing called Ribbon, where menu items are presented along a ribbon across the top here. Across the top in my ribbon, you'll see a feature called Ribbon Hero 2. It says I'm on level 3 and I've got 2,310 points. That's because every time I do something that I've never done before, it logs it here. It's watching me and it essentially says, ah, you've done something that you never did before. You use this tool for the first time and I'm going to reward you and recognise the fact that you've improved your understanding of this software. But if you're not somebody who likes to explore blindly, you can just click on it and it will bring up a little game. As you can see, it's loaded up skill level 3 because I've been doing this for a while. It's a 1960s theme and I can play through all these different kinds of games. Here's a game that's based on Excel. Let's open it. There are 600 points available in this game. What you can see it doing now is searching for an Excel file that will enable me to play this game. There's the game. On the right here are my instructions. Remove duplicates from the table. There's the table and I need to remove the duplicates. I'm not sure what to do, so I'm going to click on Need a Hint. But I'm going to select the table first. There you go. Then I'm going to select the Data tab. There's the Data tab. As you can see, it's selected the table. Here's the Table button. There it is. I need one more hint. Remove duplicates. I can't find it. But if I go over here, it will play a video showing me where it is. There it is. Remove duplicates. Notice the balloons on the right-hand side here and the little bit of music. It's recognised that I've achieved a new skill. Now I've got to sort the remaining rows by song title. I'm going to click Give Me a Hint. OK, so here's the remaining rows. I've selected them. Select the Data tab. OK, one more hint. Click Sort A to Z. There it is, over on the right-hand side there. Let me just select the titles. Go select Sort A to Z. There we go. For that little part of the game, I got 500 points. And now I can continue. This is a game-based learning activity. As you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different levels. As I complete certain levels, future ones become unlocked. It's tapping into the game-based technology and the psychology of gaming. One proven effective usage of this game is to give teachers a leaderboard in the staff room where they can all come and see how everyone is doing and compete for the top spot. You could do the same thing with students. Once it becomes competitive, the learning is more effective.